Brother. brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben. Today, we are going to be taking on the not so easily Weasley Queasley. I don't think you quite got it. I think I got it. Let's do it. In case you guys are new to how we do Super Carl and Brothers quizzes, this is how it is going to work. You're doing the hands now. So uh, you, I'm copying you. You're copying me, copying you? That's right. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> This is how it is going to work. Tyler is going to be reading us 30 questions plus four bonus quiz master questions four. from our Patreon. So a 34 question quiz. Oh boy. There are multiple choice answers, at least to the regular 30 questions, of which we will not receive unless we both agree. Right. And if you want to play along with us, we have included a link down in the description down below. Feel free to click on that. See if you can beat us. You might. Query number one. That's question number one for you. Thank you for the there. translation. Yeah. Paying attention at home. Uh, what form does Ron's Patronus take? I feel like this is pretty easy, but now I'm like, am I getting it wrong? But I think I've got it. We, we have his Patronus Funko Pop here in office. That's true. It has um, come out. Okay. <laughs> I, took, I took three different stabs at what I think it is. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Jack Russell Terrier. Jack Russell Terrier. I got there in the end, if that's right. Is that three stabs? <laughs> Do you think it's a Jack or a Russell or a Terrier? <laughs> three different answers. Three different answers. <laughs> it is Jack from Titanic. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Now, the uh, answer according to the quiz on Pottermore is dog. But Jack Russell Terry is right. Wow. Wow. Okay. You're more correct in the quiz. That feels nice. That feels by, nice. By a mile. Dog. Dog. What? That's how not That is irritating. <laughs> quiz number two. What would you find at the usual number 12 position on Mrs. Weasley's clock? Ready? Three, two, one. Mortal peril. Oh. Oh, the answer is mortal peril. That's going to go to Jack. Put mortal danger. Oh, I mean, I feel like that's right. I don't I don't mind if Ben gets a point for that. Okay. But. Ding. Ben gets a out point. Of, out of the <laughs> 12 available options, I feel like I got, they could die. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Question three. What was Charlie's position on the Gryffindor Quidditch team? See, it's 30 questions, so they can give you a bunch of easy ones at the beginning. And right. Like, oh, this is this is no problem. Three, two, one. Seeker. 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 There we go. Flying through this one. We'll Just see. like Charlie Weasley's flying through the air on his way to catch that snitch. Right. Woo! Beep, 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 beep. Question four. What is the name of Percy's owl? I do know this. I'm sure you know it. Oh, there it is. I think. Grab it out think. of his brain. Three, two, one. Hermes. Hermes. Yeah. Brain blast! Yeah, it's Hermes. A brain blast! <laughs> is that a Jimmy Neutron reference? He sure is, yeah. What's the dog's name in Jimmy Neutron? Goddard. It, to me, his name is more of a sound. I don't, I'm don't. i sure it's named after someone impressive. Goddard. I, I love I, that name. I know, but I'm like, I never knew exactly what he was saying. I was like, it was like always a guess. You know uh, what? Goddard? You know what is surprising God heard. quotable? is the Jimmy Neutron movie. <laughs> that might be an Our Family thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, toast! I bring, I bring in, in my your ship. ship. <laughs> it's a toaster. <laughs> it's like nine people got that. <laughs> <laughs> Question five. Which of Ginny's spells caught the attention of Professor Slughorn? Okay. Maybe? Yeah, Three, so. two, one. Bat bogey hex. Bat bogey. You all know your Potter. There you is though your Weasley, the bat bogey hex. Woo -woo. Nice. What do you think happens with that one? Are you summoning bat boogers? That, I feel like they describe it as like, face was covered in the flapping things. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I sort of almost think like bat wing pimples like where like instead of having like a pimple you would just have like two wings like fluttering out of your face which seems like very disgusting mm, i'm imagining more like winged boogers like so they just come like flying out of your nose no no like you're casting flapping like large boogers that have bat wings okay that is a i've never thought about it that way that does maybe make more sense <laughs> than what i've imagined okay neither of those things make sense <laughs> agreed <laughs> it seems like a strange thing to have a hex for maybe it's just in vogue maybe it turns your boogers into bats that would be really horrible <laughs> that would be terrible anyway question six select all that apply i don't know oh boy which of the following are products from the weasley's wizard wheezes range <clears throat> a Fabulous, wet start, no heat fireworks. B, portable swamp. C, nose biting teacups. D, canary creams. E, you know poo. F, frog spawn soap. To appropriately weight the question, you will only get a point if you get it exactly right. It's like the SATs of Weasley quizzes. This is tricky because there's a lot of things that are like, 
for several books, they're just the Weasleys are just very associated with the Zongo joke shop items. Right. So like, are any of those things? Right. Like, what did they just have versus what did they invent? Okay. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Uh, I had the portable swamp, the <clears throat> canary creams, and the Uno poo. Okay, I had A, B, E, D. A, B, D. Uh, yeah, I wasn't so sure about the fireworks. I, I'm not sure about the fireworks. Yeah. That was the last one I added. The correct answers are B, Portable Swamp. Oh, no. Yay. D, Canary Creams. Mm -hmm. And E, You Know Poo. Yes! Oh, I got it! Man, Man so I shouldn't I have added. So nervous about the fireworks. I think their fireworks are called like Weasley Wizard Whiz Bangs. Right. That's okay. what WWW stands for. Exactly. <laughs> Weasley Wizard we Weasley Wizard Whizbangs dot Facebook dot com. Backslash. Backslash Super Carlin Brothers. That's right. We have a Facebook page. I get all the messages. <laughs> I do not read them. Now for our first quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Angelica Orozco and selected by patrons. Ooh. That's Angelica Orozco. If you do not understand me, Angelica, I want you to make sure you get the proper Shout out. Oh, yeah, the, all the recognition needed. Yes, yeah. indeed. Question. What did the sign outside of Weasley's Wizard Wheezes say? It's not short. Okay. I feel like there are words that I have wrong in this, inevitably. I feel like I want to go out on a limb and say that if we both know the... Not not just the gist, but if you have, like, the sentiment. I'll, I'll be the judge. <laughs> I'm a pretty fair judge, okay? I don't like, okay. I don't like when my fate is okay. in someone else's hands. Do you know how many times mom would go into Dunkin' Donuts and be like, Jonathan's in charge. This is that revenge, okay? Oh, like from the minivan? Yeah. What, what would I do? What would I, you I do? wouldn't be in charge is what you would do. <laughs> yeah, that, that is how I was slighted. <laughs> That's the slight. It would have been really weird if they were like, Kyle, you're in charge. Yeah. It would have been That would have been way more offensive <laughs> to me than me being in charge is offensive to you. Yeah, but I was like four, Jay. I didn't understand that. Yeah. Okay, so your punishment isn't that I was bad at being in charge, it's that you weren't left in charge. Exactly right. Okay, and so. And now I am left in charge. Uh huh. All right. All right. Three, two, one. I have worried about you know who. You should be worried about you know who. The constipation sensation that's gripping the nation. Oddly enough, you that's guys both got it exactly right. Yes! yes! Word for word. Ba Boom! Amazing! That's right. And I'm not telling mom. Question seven. Who was the previous owner of Ron's first wand? Bill. Bill. Ooh, you were both incorrect. It's Charlie. It's Charlie. Uh, Man, I had Charlie uh, first, and then uh, I, I second guessed it. Because Ron's middle name is Billius, and I don't know why I was like, okay, yeah, Uncle Bill. Uh, Uncle Billius. Right, he's the one who pulls the flowers out of his butt at weddings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the one. Anyway. Didn't he also see a Grim? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. What is Molly's maiden name? This is question eight. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Brew it. Brew it. It is Riddle. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that would be shocking. <laughs> Brew it, yes. Oh, you didn't even confirm we got it right. <laughs> We're getting a little cocky over here. <laughs> That's why they left us in charge. <laughs> Question nine. Which village is the borough located near? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. On a recent cash poll. Correct, indeed. Whoa! You ready? Yeah. yeah. Question ten. Oh, boy. Which of the twins is mentioned most often throughout the books? Ho, oh, oh. ho. You guys just have yeah. an answer. Ready? Three, two, go. one. Fred. Fred. Wow, it is Fred. Yeah, we, only because Ben and I were just talking about how yeah. someone was pointing out that Fred seemed like like the alpha twin. That oh well, okay. So the thing is, is that it's our it's like one of our longest standing patrons, Julia, who is from Texas. She always talks about how she particularly loves Fred. Fred. Oh, okay. And I was like, and so and it's one of those things where I was like, as I've been rereading this most recent time, I'm like. What is the deal with Fred? Like, what? Like, does he like have wittier jokes? Like, because and I, I hate that I tend to do this with Fred and George, but I do tend to treat them as a single entity, right? Like as the Weasley twins. Yeah, they rarely and, appear apart. Or exactly. Yeah. In going through it this most recent time, I have been paying attention more to Fred, and it does seem like he is like the ringleader, and then George is sort of like the accomplice. Interesting. Yeah. It is also like the cadence to their name, right? Like Fred and George. Like it's never George and Fred. Also, does Fred that mean dies. it's like Jay versus Ben? Like, like you I don't even sit in that order. Jay versus Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get into that. <laughs> Question 11. 
What is Arthur's dearest ambition? Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. To understand how airplanes stay up. That is correct. Hooray! Oh! The trick one is you think it's the rubber duck. Is that an option? Uh, it is not. That is surprising. The options, if you'd like to know, are to try a computer, to earn a muggle driving license, and to fix the electric toaster in the shed. Those are horrible other options. Quiz writer. That's the thing. It's like it's always obvious when you know the answer. It's always obvious when you know. Question twelve. At what number in Diagon Alley would you find Weasley's Wizard Wheezes? Oh, that's difficult. That is difficult. I guess they announce it as they're flying out on Umbridge. Right. I would go multiple choice. Okay. Is it 42, 71, 93, or 112? Hmm. That didn't help at all. Nope. At least it's not a total shot in the dark. I wrote down a number that I was like, this is my guess. And if it's there, I'll take it. But it wasn't. Love that. Love that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Might have looked good. Okay. You ready? <sighs> I don't know. This is just a shot in the this is just such a shot in the dark. Such so, a shot in the Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 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 Did you remember it? You get a brain blast? No, I'm just changing. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. Seventy one. I so said that's seventy one? Yeah. You are both incorrect. Oh, uh, was it C? It was C. Turds. I think I had that. On the topic of quiz mastering, I think this is good because forty two is like the nerd number, right? So I would have closed the book if it was forty two. Um, but 42 and 93 are both like a perfect square and then their root. At least that's how my brain works when I see numbers. And then 71 is two prime numbers. Wait, why is 93 a perfect square? 93 is so not nine a perfect square. Nine three. is a perfect square of three. Oh, I see. Okay, so I kind of like that though. Like I was trying to think of something to do with the W's. I was like, would it be like the number of the alphabet times three? Cause that's WWW, but it it was something to do with the number three. <laughs> there are no nine Weasleys, right? Yeah. Seven plus two. Is there a reason why three would somehow come into play? There's three parts of the store name. Quiz master question number two. Bring it on. This question was submitted by Jared and selected by patrons. Jared. 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 Why don't you try it? Jared. Jared. Question. What is the name of the book that Percy is reading in a tiny junk shop during the trip to Diagon Alley and Chamber of Secrets? What? In a tiny junk shop? That's what it says. Man. Goodness me. Um, he's just started dating Penelope, right, Penelope Clearwater. Clearwater. So that could be like a, like how to how to win friends and influence people. Dale Carnegie, yeah, By Dale Carnegie. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I have absolute. I'm are there multiple choice answers? No there are idea. not multiple choice answers, but I think when I tell you the answer, you're going to be like, ah, oh, I knew that. Are you ready? Are you going to uh, try anything? Oh, I'll try something. Um, three, two. two. One. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. A History of Magic. You are both incorrect. Oh. No kidding. I feel like once I tell you. Are you ready? Yeah. No. Okay. The answer is prefects who gained power. Uh, I do remember that I line. I remember that. Okay, so I put that because Percy is like the red herring culprit of the Chamber of Secrets. So if he was reading that book early, that mm. would seem like, oh, he was reading about monsters earlier. Yeah, you do spend the whole book like being suspicious, but the thing you're supposed to be suspicious of is the fact that he has a girlfriend. A girlfriend. Oh, Although, it, honestly, the fact that he still didn't gloat after getting 12 OWLs is shocking. Well, he hardly gloated at all, is what Fred and George say. Right. They're joking. That's like sarcasm, I think. I think what they're saying is he hasn't shut up about it. No, I don't think that's what they're saying. Interesting. I, I interpret it as, now I need now I need weigh-in from everybody else. I interpret it as, like, he's been acting really weird. Yeah, he hardly gloated at all after getting 12 OWLs hmm. because he's so distracted by having a girlfriend because he's been cooped up in his room all summer. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Let us know what you think. Foul section down below. I right. never suspected Percy being the one opening the chamber. Is that the red herring? Yes. It's supposed to be. Uh, I feel literal like it's- Literal red hair, Tyler. This, I always hmm. think about this, is that like if we were to make theories if the books were delivered to us chapter by chapter, mm -hmm. the number of wrong guesses you would make based on things like that yeah. would be many. Like Ludo Bagman. I mean, Ludo, Karkaroff, and even like Barty Crouch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Snape, okay. Draco. Lots. Lots. Many people want Harry dead, apparently. Question 13. Which Quidditch team does Ginny eventually play for? I don't think I've got this right. All right, three, two, one. I've got the Holy Head Harpies. Me too. Yeah. You're right. Hey, 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 look at this go. Look at that. Gwenog Jones. Gwenog Jones, the Holy Head Poppies. Question 14. 
Why are the Dursleys angry when they receive a letter from the Weasleys? Oh, this was funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Even I had three, two, one. <laughs> too many stamps. Yeah, way too much postage. Yeah. <laughs> so many stamps. I, think we, I hope we put enough stamps on. It's like covering the whole envelope. Oh, except the, for like a tiny inch. They're so endearing. I wonder how much it costs to send that letter. Probably a lot. Like, man, this is why owls are so good. Right, yeah. It's like, it cost me like $6. Yeah. <laughs> but Harry has to pay the owl for the newspaper. I guess it's for the newspaper. It's like, a canut. Yeah. <laughs> Question 15. According to the Slytherin song, Weasley is our king. Where was Weasley born? Cool. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. In a bin. In a bin. In a bin. Hey. 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 Got it. Yeah. Question 16. Select all that apply. Who of the following appear at Bill and Floor's home in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows? A. Garrick Ollivander. B. Gabrielle Delacour. C. Luna Lovegood. D. Gornuck. E. Remus Lupin. And F. Dean Thomas. Okay. I'm ready. Yep. Three, two, one. A, A C, E, e and F. Ace f is Ace. correct. Yes! <laughs> Hooray! Need, I feel like Lupin is the need an uh, acronym. Just remember Ace. F. Maybe you'll even write it on your face. What was our what was our <laughs> I know. Foot. Foot. That's from Tuesday's video. Yeah. Hit me the acronym. Remember, foot. It's not even tough or something. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Yeah, I thought Lupin, Lupin's the trick one. Lupin is shows the up one. to say that they had a boy. You might not remember if Gabrielle was there or not. She's not, turns yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Question 17. A good first impression can work wonders. Who does Mrs. Weasley give this advice to? Oh, you got this. You feel pretty confident over there. Feeling pretty confident. Oh, yeah. I think I know this one. Yeah, I think I know this one too. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Harry. Harry. The answer is Harry Potter. Yeah, because that's before his trial. It is. Right? Yeah. yeah. Seems like such an obvious answer to have Harry. It's like, Harry's not the answer. He's like the main character. It's <laughs> <laughs> never that easy. It's not a trivia question. Yeah. <laughs> question 18. What was the Weasley twins' year of birth? Oh, okay. Um, right? Yeah, it must be. Unless it's like, yeah, okay. Sure, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do a math way out of it. Yeah, three, two, one. 1978. I said 79, so we have the same thought. They're in year three, when Harry, 81, one, two. Harry's born in 1980. Good point. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> the answer. Is 1978. Yes. Yep. I literally I did I went from 81. You, you did the you did the 11 so, year math wrong. I did. Yeah. <sighs> Bullocks. Victory. That's uh, that's frustrating because I, I it's like you knew you knew you knew. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Quiz master question number three. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh boy. You need to work on that Mickey Mouse. <laughs> the first floor. <laughs> that's all I can do is the elevators at. Oh, like Disney. Disney World. <laughs> At the contemporary. At the contemporary, like the like Mickey says which floor you're on. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I do Toad? I don't think I can do Toad. We're just gonna. <laughs> this question was submitted by Simon Eden and selected by patrons. Question How many galleons were in the Weasley vault the only time Harry visits it? Alright, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. A single gold galleon. One single <laughs> galleon seems remarkably One like single they galleon. shouldn't have taken that trip to Egypt. Is all I'm saying. Like, how luxurious was that trip? I know. I mean, oh my gosh. Like, sometimes I'm like, man, the Weasleys sure don't make a lot of money, but I'm like, maybe they just don't spend their money very wisely. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they don't ever take a personal finance class at Hogwarts. They certainly don't. Or math. <laughs> Or math. Sometimes I think like potions is supposed to be like half science, half math. Right. Arithmancy is like, this isn't teaching you math, but you will need basic math to do it. Right. Yeah. Right. Anyway. To uh, score update, I have no idea if the score is correct on my sheet, but I know Jay is two points ahead. I think that is accurate. I know that is true. Okay. I just don't know if the numbers I have written down are right. Okay. okay. And we are 18 questions and three Quizmaster questions into the game. Question 19. What was Ron's Christmas present from Lavender? I don't like the Lavender Brown questions. I don't like Lavender Brown. How specific do we have to be? Um, answer the question and I will tell you if you have the right answer or not. Okay, three, two, one. A golden necklace. Gold heart shaped necklace. The answer is a gold chain with letters spelling my sweetheart. Right here, my sweetheart. My sweetheart. So that answer is gonna go to J. Sorry, Ben, no point. 
Boom. I imagine it being like really big. I don't know in your brain how big it is, but in mine it's like everyone would clearly be able to read the word sweetheart on it. It would be it would be obnoxious. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't picture it as like a dog tag. I pictured it as like a just a chain with like a bar almost oh. inside of my sweetheart. Mm, I'm picturing like an Olympic medal sized. <laughs> <laughs> like like uh like Flav of Flav. Like, what what is the actual answer? <laughs> Give it to me again. The actual answer is a gold chain <laughs> with letters spelling my sweetheart. So in that case, I would almost imagine it to be like a necklace like with individual charms hanging down. That's, That's even worse. <laughs> like <laughs> it's funny how everyone imagines it differently. Question 20. Which of the Weasley brothers never married? Is this a trick question? Uh, it is not a trick question, but I suppose there are two answers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now wait a minute. <laughs> if the answer is Fred, this is stupid. <laughs> is the answer Fred? No, the answer is not Fred. Okay. 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 I was like, like that's kind of mean. Yeah. To a dark question. <laughs> um, three, two, one, go. Charlie. Charlie. Chuck Weasley, exactly right. Boom! I wish they called him Chuck. Oh, there's even a note from Jordan that says Fred also didn't marry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just sad. <laughs> no. Question twenty-one. What is the month of Bill's birth? What is the month? Why would we know this? Why would you know this? Hmm. What is the month? I'm like trying to think of any reason why this would have come up. Do you know it? I, have, I just have like some sort of reasoning in my brain, but I'm still not even sure I've got it right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. May. Is that April? You guys are going to love this. Jay, do you know when Bill's birthday is? It's November 29th. No, it isn't. It's <laughs> Luke's birthday. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. All I could think was while Harry was at Shell Cottage. That is exactly that what they, I thought. Maybe they had like a birthday dinner for Bill that was subdued by the presence of... That's exactly Rilla. what I thought, yeah. And I was thinking like the Battle of Hogwarts takes place in May. How long were they at Shell Cottage? Right. Must have been like one of those things that happens in the buildup. Right. Is all I have. That's all I could think too. But otherwise I have no earthly idea yeah. when this would have come up. Right? Certainly like must be like they were sitting in the common room and Ron was writing a birthday card to Bill. I don't, know. I don't know. That doesn't sound like Ron. No, it doesn't. Hermione anyway. was writing a birthday card. <laughs> From Ron. <Yeah. laughs> Ron, I wrote your brother a birthday card. Make sure you sign it. Question 22. Who does Ginny Hex on the Hogwarts Express in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? I almost gave this one away earlier. I think you did. You must have almost. I must have almost. Yeah. I don't, you're not I, reading this book right now. I don't even know if no, no. I'm, I mean, I I am on Deathly Hallows okay. right now. Okay, so you just read it. Anyway. So I just read it. Yeah, All right. within the past like three weeks. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Zachariah Smith. Oh my gosh, oh. I think I might have it wrong. The answer is Zachariah. Smith. Is Zachariah Smith? Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. you almost gave it away, indeed. <laughs> Man, woo! Because this is this is this is the aforementioned Slughorn is impressed with. Yep. Yep. But I was like, it's always, I feel like almost annually, Malfoy, Crabbe, and Goyle get hexed on the train. Oh, sure, sure, sure. But yeah. I was like, no, but like, who else could it have been? And then she's like, remember that stupid idiot from the DA last year? Yep, like, that, yeah. that's exactly what it was. And I think literally I was just like misappropriating in my head these these characters. Oh, I see. So yeah, that's, that's as soon as you said it, I was like, that is correct. <laughs> Darn it. I feel like I'm my I, my chances of winning are slipping away from me. Jonathan knows his Weasleys well. He does have twins, though, so I That's feel like... That's true. Yeah. But it's an unfair advantage. It is. Sons. You are closer to having way. seven <laughs> children than I am. <laughs> but I apparently I can't remember one's birthday, even though it's the same. Is it the eldest kid, too? It is. Wow. wow. Maybe I am going to have Weasleys. Kids really don't know. have red hair. So far, you've got mouth. Maybe voice. I'll have blonde Weasleys. <laughs> blonde hair. Perfect outfit. You must be a Weasley. Carlin. Carlin. <clears throat> anyway. There, you do have well-dressed kids, for what it's worth. Both, so both of you do. Just Thank right. you. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Question 23. What is Percy's middle name? This has got to be pretentious. It is not pretentious. No. It is a different name. Let's <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> pretentious Weasley. It'd be like, you guys really set him up for it. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> Barely his fault. I would go multiple choice. Okay. I feel, like, I feel like I might know it if I hear it. Is it Augustus, Cornelius, Ignatius, or Rufus? All right. Three, two, one. Ignatius. It is Ignatius, which means fiery and enthusiastic. I feel like this is another one where you might have thought Augustus. But definitely not Cornelius or Rufus. Those are their other ministers. Yeah, who Percy works for. I thought it, I was thinking Arthur for some reason. I mean, obviously it's his dad, but I'm like, seems like 
They made it to three kids before they did that. <laughs> For some reason, I, I had like an A name, so when I heard Augustus, I, I was like, oh, they're all going to be A names. That's what I, I was like. Yeah. As soon as I heard Augustus, I was like, it's Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, no, it wasn't. Question 24. Where is Shell Cottage located? Boy. Do you want a hint? I have a hint. Okay. This this sticks to my round table theory. Ugh. Man, I would get a multiple choice on this too. I would, yeah. yeah. Is it like a part of England? It is a part of England. Is it A, Dorset, B, Somerset, C, Devon, or D, Cornwall? Even with your other hint about the round table tie, I'm not sure that helps me. If it doesn't help you, then it won't help you. Because it was like a huge hit. <laughs> <laughs> People at home are like, oh my <laughs> God, you guys. <laughs> yeah, this is, ah, oh, man. Sometimes I do think this is probably, you know how every once in a while you'll have like someone from Australia label the states. Yeah. And everybody can do like Texas and New York and California and then yeah. like maybe Florida and everything else. It's sort just of a like, bunch of rectangles in yeah. the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really do not know a political map of the UK. Yeah. At all. Do you have an answer? Oh. Uh, Are you waiting on me? I don't have an answer. Oh, guys. <sighs> okay. I circled one. I don't think this is right. Ready? Three, two, one. Somerset. I said Devon. Oh, you are both incorrect. Well, at least we failed together. Uh, King Arthur's castle is in Cornwall. Ah, ah there you go. So that, that was, was either like, like a huge it's hint on or not the helpful at all. Beach. <laughs> you go to the beach in summer. Summer, I know. And I was like, Somerset seems the least Arthurian. <laughs> And now for our final quiz, master question of the game. Great. This final question was submitted by Jared Rudy and selected by patrons. To have your questions included in the quiz, go to patreon.com slash Brothers. Select the quiz master tier. Question. How was Ron Weasley's name misspelled in his copy of Advanced Potion Mate? <sighs> this is one of those like, do you have to correctly spell the misspelling? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> really? Uh, this is one where it hurts that we don't read it hard copy. It does hurt that we don't read it hard. I tell you, I tell you, if 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 you get if you if you pronounce it, okay, the way that I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got it anyway. All right, three, three. two, one. Ronald Waslib. You both. Oh, I put R O O. Okay, I put an S. Oh, that was the R U. You you both clearly know the answer, so I'll give you the point. Okay. Yay. Um, I have no idea how many points each of you has. I know Jonathan is winning by a lot. For your reference, it is. R O O N I L W A Z L I B. Oh, that was pretty close. They were pretty close. <laughs> I know the nickname, nickname is Potter. <laughs> I feel like you and I just love the way that we like to run this line. I, know. I hate that it was left out of the movie, although I completely get it because it's a pretty dark scene in the yeah. movie. It's so funny that Harry's ex in this dark moment, he's explaining to Snape what nicknames are. Right. That's my nickname. That's what Your my friends nickname. <laughs> That's what my friends call me. <laughs> I know what your nickname is, Potter! Oh, that's very funny. Okay. Question 25. How old is great Auntie Muriel when she attends Bill and Fleur's wedding? This is the number that came to mind. Ooh, hang on. Okay. Three, two, one. 112. Is that 107? Ooh! I have a discrepancy! Oh, is one of us right? Uh, one of you is right! Oh, man. Uh, you pointed at Jay. It's Benjamin! Oh. No way! She's 107. 107! I was actually just thinking about, well, I, I just listened to it the other day, but, um, I was just thinking about this the other day because she is sort of speculating on early Dumbledore years uh -huh. and talking to Elpheus Doge. And Doge was at school with Dumbledore, who was born in 1881, which makes him, what, 19... I mean, she was born in 1880. She was born in 1880? That must be the case. Um, okay, so, like, they would have all gone to school together. Right. Which uh -huh. is... Something I guess I always think is kind of interesting. Is. She does tote her age a lot, like where Dumbledore is just like, and Doge would be. Yeah, right there. old, yeah, as well. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. Uh, question 26, select all that apply. Which of the following f books can be found at the burrow? A, Egg Spelliarmus, 1001 Tips for Banishing Magical Stains and Smells. Wait, oh, that was all one? That was all one, yeah. Oh, okay. B, One Minute Feasts. It's magic. C, charm your own cheese. D, Gilderoy Lockhart's Guide to Household Pests. And E, 12 Tips for Transfiguring Trifle. Man. Okay, I think I got this. And this is select all that apply. Yes. Okay. Do you know? I think so. That's a pretty good guess. Okay, three, two, one. Put B, C, and D. So E, D, and E. The answer is B, C, D. Boom! 
Nailed it. Charm your own cheese. That's hilarious. I definitely knew A was not because Eggspelliarmus is so memorable. <laughs> well, Ben, you climbed back one point, but I clogged, I clogged it right away. Clogged it right away. Question 27. Which Weasley would later have a daughter named Roxanne? Oh, for God's sakes. I can tell you it's not Fred. <laughs> <laughs> or Charlie, apparently. <laughs> well, well, definitely not Fred. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three, yeah. two, one. George. Bill. Sorry, Pen. The answer's George. Yeah, because Bill's, they have Victoire. They could have had more than Victoire. Yeah, but it would have sounded equally French, right? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, like, if Laura got to na name one, Bill got to name one, because that's how it works. <laughs> I feel like it would have been pretty French. I don't know. All right. Question 28. When Mrs. Weasley picks up one of the twins' trick wands, what does it turn into? All right, yeah, I don't know. Three, two, one. A rubber chicken. It is not a rubber chicken. Ah, that's the one Ludo Bagman picks up then. It is a rubber mouse. Oh. Um, I do want to point out there is a different answer that is rubber haddock, which I think is brilliant. What is a haddock? A fish. It's a fish. Oh. You right? Think I know Aquarium that. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't keep haddock in aquariums. <laughs> uh, question 29. When Mr. Weasley is sent to hospital, which ward does he end up in? Oh For my this this stupid question. chapter! I hate this chapter. I know! It's uh, just cram packed with. It it's is like so cram packed with trivia. Yeah. It's like she took a t shirt cannon full of random words and threw it into this chapter. I know! Gosh, okay. Um. Everyone left it on the sticky floor. Jonathan is aggressive with t-shirt can shirts. If you're like, in my, you my nine-seat radius, <laughs> that's my shirt. <laughs> the power zone. I really just enjoy catching it because I almost immediately just donate them back to like Goodwill or something. Sure. Well, very yeah, very frequently they are uh, not size appropriate shirts. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's think here. Oh, did you just get it? I have no idea. It's like I'm. I'm. I. This could. This could not be even remotely. Correct at all. This this doesn't sound right, but it sounds it sounds what? right, but I don't think it is right. Are you looking at me like that, Benjamin? <laughs> oh god! No, Here we go. I don't think I have it right. Three, two, one. I'll put magical bites and bruises. Oh, I put Janice Thicky. On the bright side, you're both way off. Yeah, okay. okay. it is. Di Llewellyn. Oh, it's not the name of the type of accidents. No, it is the name of the ward. Ah, well. Is there I a Janice would... Thicky ward? I think so. Okay, so at the very least, I had like something in the in the building, yeah, in the zip code. I was thinking of a different thing. <laughs> well, like the name of like what type of yeah, malady? What, yeah. Well, Jay, you did win, but we have one question to go. Great. What does Ron suspect happened to his pet Puffskin? His pet Puffskin? That's what it says. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have no idea when this is. Me neither. Three, two, one. Well, I put Crookshanks in it. Me but. too. <laughs> ha! Uh, uh, you're both incorrect. The correct answer, I think this would have happened prior to Hogwarts. I think it must, that's what I was thinking. It must have been as they were kids. Uh, it was used for bludger practice. That is, that's what he thinks happened. <laughs> I think, that's so mean. So it was used like as a bludger and they were like smacking it with a bat. <laughs> it, it doesn't seem like a puff skin would be an appropriate uh, density. It also seems like they don't even know what the puff skins are until Fred and George have them in the shop. Yeah, it's like they are yeah, like like because one of them has to like concede like they are quite cute. Yeah. Like when does Ron have one? Because Ginny gets Arnold. Yeah. Or is it the pygmy puff, not puff skin? Oh, you're right. Wow. What's a puff skin? I don't know. Maybe it's a big bludger shaped thing. <laughs> Just, it's a cannonball <laughs> with eyes. Great. Okay. Same. That was at times okay and at other times straight up brutal. Mm. Uh, our question for you guys, how'd you do? Did you beat us? Let us know in the towel section down below. And if you want to partake <laughs> in a different kind of quiz, make sure you join us here tomorrow on May 15th at 6 p.m. Eastern, where Ben and I will be hosting a Harry Potter trivia hour where you guys will get to play along by downloading the Kahoot app and we will put the questions on screen and we will have a grand prize winner and there will be prizes and stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be super cool. Hope you guys tune in. Excited to see you there. See how they do. Yeah. If you want to see... Oh, we came up with the quiz. We did. We came up with the quiz questions. Speaking of even more quiz fun, if you want to see more Jay versus Ben, you can check out this playlist right here. Or if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice, you you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, by clicking right here. But until next time, bye! bye.